This is a basic color HD video capture device. It says it's USB 3.1. I'll put that to the test and I'll do some footage test. That's coming up on Thrifty AV. I want to start with a quick disclaimer that the folks at Basic Color sent this device over for review. They can have this capture device back if they want it. I am not being paid for this review and all opinions expressed in this video are my own. Now this is already out of the box, so let's back up and check out the unboxing. The box looks pretty generic, but the sticker says basic color on this HD video capture USB 3.1 device. Let's get into this box. Okay, pretty simple here. Here's the device itself. It has a microphone input, a headphone input, 4K in and 4K out. The USB jack is way recessed in this little hole here that might cause some problems with some cabling uh, hooking this device up. The cable that comes with it is just a tiny little thing. It is blue like a USB 3 and it is USB C, but man, that thing is small. It was recognized. This device is being detected by, I can't pronounce that, Micro Silicon Technologies. Uh, and it is showing USB version 2.00, so this is not USB 3. I dimmed the lights and I'm going to use a front USB input to demonstrate something. There's a little light here uh, that indicates when the USB is plugged in. Right now I am recording on my Panasonic HCX1000 while also capturing on the Basic Color HD video capture device. Now, right now you're watching the footage that I recorded on my Panasonic, and now you're watching the footage from the Basic Color HD uh, capture device. This is what it looks like, and this is what it sounds like. Now let's set them side by side. On the left, you're seeing uh, the original footage. On the right, you're seeing the, the HD capture of the Basic Color. Now the footage on the left is 4K, so keep that in mind. The footage on the right is 1080p because this device captures at 1080p. Now let's do a quick level check uh, and include some color bars in that test. There are some focus issues with this footage, but I'll still be able to check the levels pretty well. Uh, this is what the levels look like on the raw footage and everything's just a little bit hotter on the captured footage. Uh, here again is the original raw footage. Here's the video levels on the capture footage. Let's look at color bars. This is what color bars are supposed to look like with this white at 768 and this peak white at 1023. Now when I move over to the captured color bars, the 768 line scooted up. Uh, 1023 uh, it appears about the same. Now these black levels also scooted up. Also take a look at this vector scope. All of the chroma hues or most of them are outside or toward the edge of these boxes. This indicates that the chroma levels are a little bit high which goes hand in hand with the video levels being a little bit too high. These video levels are pretty close to correct and could be adjusted in post-production. Checking the media info for the captured footage, it is MPEG-4 version 2. The overall bitrate is 17.9 Mbps. It's the AVC codec, height 1080, that is 1080p. It is a widescreen 16 to 9 aspect ratio at 30 frames per second. Color space is YUV. Chroma subsampling is 420, bit depth 8. The audio is one channel sampled at 44.1 kilohertz. So if you feed a stereo or surround signal into this device, you'll be capturing a mono audio signal on your file. I now have the Atari Flashback 9 hooked up and I'm gonna test four things with the basic color capture device. The first thing is HDMI pass-through with a 720p signal. And as you can see, it's being passed into this TV set over here just fine, no problem. The next is audio uh, using the headphone jacks. 
Now I can hear audio coming through this TV set over here, loud and clear really, but I do not hear any of the audio coming through the headphones and I do have the headphones plugged into the HDMI capture device, so I should be able to hear the audio here. I'm not hearing it. Okay, as far as the microphone goes, I'm gonna to try to capture some gameplay and speak over it and see if both my recording and the gameplay are recorded. The game I'm playing on the Atari Flashback 9 is called Adventure. The audio you're listening to right now was recorded in post-production. This is not what I was saying while I was playing the game. The audio I was trying to record with the microphone input did not go through. All that you can hear is the sound from the Atari Flashback 9. The next thing I want to see is will the basic color allow me to capture from a Blu-ray? Of course, Blu-rays are HDCP encoded and a lot of capture devices will not let you record from a Blu-ray. It appears that it is capturing this. I'll show you a few seconds of John Carpenter's The Thing if I'm successful. Cheating bitch. I have the HDMI pass-through routed into my 4K TV set, hitting the info button. It says 2160p, that is 4K pass-through. So as far as the basic color 3203 is concerned, it did capture 1080p footage from 4K, 1080p, and 720p sources. The pass-through was indeed capable of 4K. The captured video levels were slightly off with a default setting, but really not that bad, and you could always fix those in post-production. The audio was clean with a good level, but it was mono. You will not be able to capture stereo or surround audio with that. The box claims that this device is USB 3.1, but I was only able to get USB 2 speeds out of the device. I could not get any audio out of the headphone jacks and I could not get uh, the microphone input to work either. If someone who is using this device has successfully used the headphone or the microphone jacks, please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel and remember, stay thrifty everyone.